hello everyone you're welcome back to this channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to cut an adult boxer it's very very easy so if this is what you're interested in keep on watching let's get started thanks now to start with these are the measurements i need for my boxer so i need the waist the waist is just for the essence of the length of the uh, elastic which i'm going to cut finally okay now i have the hip here the waist is 38 inches i have the hip 48 inches and i have the length to be 15 inches plus one inch for the folding at the down part then the crotch the crotch is just your waist uh, hips divided by four minus one inch okay now we are going to start now as you can see right here i folded my fabric into two i will be cutting the front piece first okay so it's already on fold can you see so the first thing i'm going to do right now is to mark so i'm going to mark 0 0.5 downwards from here i'm going to mark 0 0.5 okay I will also extend it to this one. So, lest I forget, to determine the amount of width I'm going to need. So, this hip is what I will be considering. Now, hip, my hip is 48 inches. 48 inches divided by 4 will give me 12. So, 12 plus additional 3 inches. So, 12 plus 3 will give me 15. So, that, we, that is going to be the width of this uh, fold. Already I have excess here. I have 17 inches. It's too much. So I'm going to reduce it to like 16 inches, okay? So let me... So I'm going to reduce it in order not to waste my fabric. So it's okay by me. So this is okay. So right now I'm going to mark from here. I'm going to mark 0 0.5 downward. So I will also come here and mark 0 0.5. So the next thing is just to simply connect these lines together. So can you see after connecting the lines together so the next thing right now is to mark the width of my elastic and in my own case i will be using the width of my elastic is in one inch i just have one inch there are some elastic that is wider than this just consider the width so from here i'm going to mark that width one inch downward so i mark it so i will also extend it to this side and i mark that same one inch okay so the next thing I'm going to do is simply to connect these together again, okay? So as you can see right here, I've connected the lines together. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, from this line, I'm going to mark the length of my boxer, which is 15 inches. So let me just draw it closer. So the length of my boxer is 15 inches, okay? So I'm going to mark from this line, I'm going to mark 15 inches, and I have it right here. I have 15 inches here so i'm going to extend it here also and i mark that same 15 inches so the down part which is the m allowance is going to be one inch okay so i'm going to mark from here i'm going to mark just one inch for the folding at the down part so i mark it okay so the next thing i'm going to do is just to connect this together these lines together so the next thing right now is just to go ahead and cut this shape out so i'm going to cut it out right now So as you can see right here, 
I've cut it out. So the next thing I'm going to do is to impute my circumference, which is the hip circumference. Now, on this same waistline, I'm going to mark the hip circumference, which is 48 divided by 4 is 12. So I'm going to mark 12 inches right here from this center front. I'm going to mark 12 inches and I have it here. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to mark the length, the crotch length. And the crotch length is simply whatever I have on this end. One quarter of my hip, which is 12 inches minus one, will give me the crotch length. So from there, I'm going to mark 11 inches. That is 12 minus one will give me 11. So I mark it right here. So I'll simply connect this to this. So after connecting this to this, I will now determine the, the crotch curve, okay? So what I'm going to do is to extend this point, this crotch length by 2.5 inches outward. So this is what I mean. So from this point, I'm going to extend now, as you can see right, as you can see right here, I've placed the front one on another fabric of the same type, okay, just to cut the back piece. Here is it. So the only thing I can do, or uh, the only thing to do here is to extend the crotch aspect of the back by two inches, okay? And this other side here, I'm going to extend by one inch. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So from this encroach curve, I'm going to extend it by two inches. So I mark it right here. I have it here. Can you see? So right now, I will just connect to that. Okay. So here, I'm going to extend here by one inch or 1.5 inches so i'm going to extend by one inch let me use 1.5 inches okay so here to 1.5 then here to 1.5 inches upwards Can you see? So right now, I'm going to connect these lines together. After connecting this line together, then I can now link it with that crotch curve, okay? Let me use my free hand. So right now, I will just connect. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to, from here, I'm going to connect to this here. Sorry, I'm going to extend this by 1.5 inch also. Then I connect from here to this. Let me use my free hand as well. Can you see? So the next thing is just to trace the cutting just like this, straight to here. So I will just trace um Trace the cutting, uh, the line like that, like this, up to this side. So I'm going to go ahead right now and cut. So 
so this is what I have so I'm done cutting the next thing is to cut this to open the two sides after cutting I'm going to open these two sides this is for the front so I'm going to open gently open just to make sure that it does not shift so that at the end of the day i'll have equal width so this is for the front okay i'm going to keep this then for the back also are we going to i'm going to open Please, if you have find this tutorial very helpful, please kindly give it a big thumbs up, okay? Please. Now, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to the machine and start the sewing. What I'm going to do first is to place this right side to right side. You know, this is the back. I'm going to place it right side to right side like this. Right side. Then... I'm going to stitch here first and also the front piece I will do likewise then I stitch like that now, as you can see right here, I've sealed uh, this side and also this side. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to lay it right side to right side like this. So, after laying it right side to the right side, so the next thing I'm going to do is to seal the sides. I will go ahead right now. I'm going to seal the two sides also here. So I seal this side. After sewing that side, the next thing is just to come here. Okay. Is to come here and seal this side like this. So after that is to seal the down part. Okay. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that my camera went off uh, at the time when I was explaining this part. So I'm going to re-explain again. Sorry for that. So what I did was that I extended from this point. I extended by 2.5 inches. Okay. I extended, look at it, by 2.5 inches, okay, by this, is for this extension. So after that, I came up from here, from this point here, I came up by 3 inches. Look at it, here is it. I came up by 3 inches, okay. So after that, I mark it. After that, then I now create a slight curve to meet this point. And this is that was what I did, okay. So I hope you have got it. Then after that, I came down to this down part here. I measure what I have on this um, point on this line, which is um, 14 about 14.5 inches, okay. So I subtracted 1.5 from it. So 14.5 minus 1.5 will give me the total of uh, 13 inches. We give me 13 inches. So you can see I have the 13 inches right here. And that is what I mark here. So you see, I have 13 inches, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is simply to connect this to this. So I will just go ahead and connect. Can you see? I've connected. So, the next thing after connecting it is just to go ahead right now and cut it out. So, Can 
you see this is what i brought out okay so the next thing i'm going to do after this is to place this front one is to place this front one on another fabric of the same one to use it to cut the back piece okay so here comes the conclusion of this tutorial can you see the boxer can you see how nice it is so i really want to appreciate you for taking your time to watch this video thank you very much so if you have any comments in fact i'll be expecting your comments regarding this tutorial okay and uh, if you have any question please feel free to drop your question in the comment section so till i come your way again bye for now